Hello Internet Dwellers and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft. I'm your host, Jeff Bell, and welcome back to yet another episode of The Simpsons Build. That's right, The Simpsons House. We're not building The Simpsons, mostly because I'm pretty certain that would just be six tall yellow clay blocks, and that would not be very exciting. Uh, well, I guess with Marge it would be six yellow blocks and then... 27 blue blocks on top of that for her hair. Anyways, I digress. We are back here, part three for today's episode. We are, we are continuing where we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. Words are hard, you know, folks? Words are very hard to say. Anyways, we're continuing the Simpsons build um, off camera. I did a little bit of work just to try to get us up to snuff. As I said at the end of the last episode, I was going to finish off the roof. And oh, as you can see, I put in some windows. Uh, more, more about that in a second. I finished off the roof. I looked up online and I completely forgot that this is how the roof is actually structured. This portion of the house, because it's so far back, has a slightly different roof line than the front of the house does. And I once I realized that, I'm like, well, yeah, no, duh. Also, yeah, no, duh. There's a window in this room over here, which is the bathroom. And that's that's what that window goes into. I bet you you never knew that. Now, the next time you watch the show, you'll notice there's a little window right here. And this is the secret bathroom. Actually, I did some more research and I realized this is also the bathroom where the bathtub is. Um, oftentimes, if Homer's ever taken a bath or whatever, I think technically it's supposed to be this bathroom. But, uh, you know, it's a cartoon show. Nobody... Nobody actually pays attention. Anyway, so I finished off the roof line. I finished up the sides of the house as well to fill in that gap. Um, I uh, finished off the roof line the entire way across. I went back through and I put in the glass panes for all the windows. I didn't do any interior decor. Um, I didn't do any interior decorating. Don't mind that. But I did put the windows in. Uh, the Simpsons windows are actually pretty blue. So this is a perfect color. I did the blue. What? Which, which one is this? Light blue stained glass pane. Ooh. Um, I also did, in fact, even though in the last episode I said there wasn't anything, there is a window. Apparently, every photo that looks this way of the Simpsons house, there is a, a window here, which I'm now second guessing and making it that big. I think we're just going to make it a small little more privacy windows that you would normally find in a bathroom. Also, I put in the uh, the chimney stack, and and I'm going to skip over the part that I did here, and we're going to finish up this in a second. Um, I put in the chimney! Yay! The chimney does not actually go all the way up, because that would be a huge, huge chimney, and I just really didn't... Well, I mean, I guess... I guess we could technically do this. Huh? And then, and then when we get the interior decorating, we're gonna we'll we'll fix we'll figure that out the sides. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's burning, and that is burning uh, soul sand or soul sand or is it uh, no sorry nether rack nether rack is the continuously burning stuff. Once you light it on a fire with a flint and steel, it burns and burns. Now I also have uh, sparks turned off, so my entire map doesn't go up in flames. <laughs> That'd be good. So now the big thing that I'm very excited about, um, I was looking at the front here, and when I was doing the windows, I also realized that, uh, no, don't look, don't look, um, that uh, I these windows were off-centered, I wanted to make a little bigger, and I was also starting to work on that, and I figured out what to do for that, and I realized I'm such an idiot. I did this in one try, and I went, well, yeah, no, duh, that's how this window's supposed to be. This is how the bay window should be. Now, okay. I am doing some second second guessing that technically we could bring it out like one more just to get the full bow, but then it does this thing in the middle. And that just looks stupid. So this is going to be our bay window. Really simple. I just I wanted to keep it um, since I did this off camera. I wanted to at least do this this one on camera here. So it's really simple to do. Um, how did I do it? So that is just <laughs> I, I literally did this like 20 minutes ago. Completely forgot how I went about doing it. You know what? Hmm. I changed it on that one. Let's, um, nope, 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 nope. Let's, oh, because it's going to leave a gap, isn't it? So I want this to be wood because that's where the glass is going to be. So the glass just goes up one side and then the other side and really simple, it just comes out. Boom. Bowed window. Yeah. Seriously. It, I, I, I can't believe I was freaking out about how this was going to be done and i did it on the first try no not in there in here no not out here in there <laughs> no come on stupid glass and then just to complete off the roof top here because the simpsons the, the top of it is bowed out we just do stairs oh man please don't please don't like connect weird uh oh oh no oh no 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 
There we go. Okay, let's look. So, I mean, technically it floats, but... I don't know. Mm, okay, we're going to put the stairs back on. I did slabs this time, but I still had to put the uh, the wood in the back there. So, we're just going to make it be like so. So, so far, we have completed the outside. Not landscaping, but we've completed at least the outside of the house. I'm going to fly around here one more time. Uh, oh, I had to put the glass in there for above the garage. I forgot that that was a thing. So, yeah. So, you know, the house is actually really kind of plain on the outside like it's just i don't know it doesn't look very good not very pretty you know <laughs> but what can you do it's a cartoon house okay so that is our house i flew around let's just go we're gonna start doing some interior design i'm not gonna spend the entire episode doing like bits and pieces and like furniture we might i might just do that in a time lapse for the next episode but i wanted to at least get the inside of this done and oh i forgot i did one more thing mm-hmm Yep, I just put that there so I can't ever get in. No, I, for fun, did the basement. Now, <laughs> yes, well aware this is a very narrow basement. It's a very, very short ceiling. That's because when I designed this map, I didn't bother putting in enough space for basements. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the underworld. Ooh, the underworld has a very nice sunset. Anyways, I uh, I realized this when I went to go digging for the basement. I'm like, oh look, I'm I'm as far down as I go. I I can't believe I designed this world with only five blocks tall. That is that is ridiculous. Also, because of where we put the stairs, yeah, the stairs don't quite work. I can't actually get it in here in a way that will function correctly. Yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that the basement actually works and just never speak of it again okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna work on the interior of the house hold on hold hold on apparently i'm turning into a swedish gentleman um sorry we're going to uh we're gonna do in the wind side of the house i already pulled along i pulled aside some stuff here and i'm thinking actually we're gonna do that as well so i was originally going okay we need to put a ground down we need to put all this stuff down because we need to get wool and carpet i keep forgetting there's carpet now which gets me very excited because I can just put carpet down. Instead of having to replace all this, we're just going to do this. Oh, this makes my life so much simpler. Oh, I never... Oh, we never completed this. All right, so we'll have to leave a gap there because I'm going to come back with stuff. So the Simpsons, this front room here is orange. We're going to go into the, the doorways like that. We're not going to go into the doorways like that because that just kind of looks stupid. Um... <clears throat> I wish I could do half blocks. That'd make my life so much simpler. Uh, so what I did is I just grabbed some very pastel colors because basically the entire build is very pastel. We're going to do greens, and then I think there is some blues. We're going to have that just to be safe. Um, carpet. What do we have? We have lime green, so that's the green green. Yes, that is the green green. So we're just going to use the green green carpet. All right, we're going to do... So uh, actually, a lot of the house is the same color carpet. It's a lot of this just very pastel-y color. Now, I do realize that when we come back through to, or when I come back through to build the furniture, uh, a lot of this is going to be cut up because the furniture should not float. Uh, it can't set stuff directly on the carpet, so when I come back through, it just means like, hey, when I'm to build the couch, I'm just going to tear those pieces up and then just build, you know, carpet around it like that. And I, did we do that in the cycle build? I, I don't remember. I can't remember if I used carpet in the cycle build or not. Either way, and we're also going to come back through and we're going to fix these walls here in a minute. I just wanted to get the carpet down at least. So this is going to be a... Oh boy, here's your exciting episode for the day, folks, when you watch me play as carpet. Hoo hoo hoo. And yes, I, I do... I, I can hear you right now going, but Jeff, why don't you do the carpet now? Build the furniture and then put the carpet down after you're done. And I say to you, stop trying to make me look like an idiot. Uh, ooh. It is dark in here. Let us put some, uh, do I have sea lanterns? Oh, I do have sea lanterns. Sea lanterns. That looks good. Uh, well, not going to leave those there, obviously. It's just for the time being. Uh, oh, you know what? Yep. 
that's how that's supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, so this is going to be fairly straightforward. Now, I, the one thing I am a little bummed about right here is the fact that this is a walkout bay window, which it's not supposed to be, but I, I can't, I don't, I don't want to make it one shorter, because if we made it one shorter, it'd be up to here, and then it'd be just this tiny little, like, I don't know, like, almost like the privacy mirror, or privacy windows from the bathroom. I, I don't like that. I'd rather have, like, general appearance, general appearance, than, um, you couldn't see that, but I, I, yeah, okay, anyways, uh, but I, yeah, I'd rather have, a, like, a better looking general appearance than an actual, like, just correct, I guess. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to justify. All right, so then, ooh, another space for some sea lanterns, sea lanterns. It's a requirement for me to sing it like that every time, so be prepared. Floating carpets. Actually, the carpets work really well. I I do like this. Which this... Hmm. <coughs> I'm sorry, I nearly died. I'm wondering... No, because those, those float, don't they? If I tear out one of these... Crap. Alright, so we will just have to do some... Uh, that'll just be some tricky stuff we'll do later. Anyways, I'm thinking because what, we can, what I can do technically is... Well, let's look. Can I put a carpet on top of that? If I, okay, if I put that there, will carpet go on top? Oh, yes it will. Fantastic. So what I can do is I can replace whenever we get around to doing, if, if I ever do the basement, I can come back through and basically replace it with these bad boys and then put the carpet on top of that because that'll give us just, well, not right there, but I mean up here. Nope. See, Jeff, you're just breaking stuff now. Um, but I can replace it with those, and that'll give us just a little bit more headroom, so this this is not so bonking us in the head. Any who's, anyways. So there's the carpet. We'll do that for now. I'm sure, we'll do that for now. Uh, tiled bathrooms. I don't have a good tile because uh, there's really nothing. Oh, but you know what I do have? I did see that. Apparently, this is a thing in this texture pack. I I. It's supposed to be brown wool. Looks kind of weird. So anyways, for the time being, we're just going to leave this as our tile. And it's not really the... It's not what it looks like, and it does kind of bug me, and I'm going to have to find something better. What really does bug me, however, is the fact that I did not build this correctly where it's two walls thick. So the inside... Oh my... Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. Oh, holy... Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. All right, well, let's just, we're just, uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Uh. Apparently, I did not turn. Well, we're just, uh, we're just gonna close that. <laughs> Game rule, do fire tick false. I cannot believe out of all the episodes that this is the first time this has happened. I'm glad I came out of there when I did. <laughs> that would have sucked to come out and find it was all just uh, my entire... So this is why I build with, with clay and not with carpet. We're going to leave that burning for a while. And if this is gone before the end of the episode... Then I did not disable it. How you doing out there? Okay. Alright. Anywho, back to what I was talking about. Actually, I need to go get the... Uh... So yeah, I'm really bummed out that the, the entire house is going to have that in there. I wish they had carpet, f but for the walls. Like, if I wish they had turned carpet and made it into wallpaper. That would be brilliant. I'd be all for that. So... Since we just had that little incident, uh, incident, I'm going to be building the rest of the house out of the clay. Now, the inside walls of most of the first floor, I'm watching you fire, is going to be, uh, is actually a pinkish color. So we're going to do this. And I, hey, look at that. I'm actually using my magic wand tool like I uh, have it for, basically. So, and this is why I designed it in the yellow, because I wasn't quite certain what I was going to paint Wow, with it. Let's put some sea lanterns down here so we can see. It's a little dark, and I'm sorry about that. There we go. I'm just going to put one in every room now that we have the ceilings on. 
There we go, just so we can see. So, um, hold on. There we go. Lost my map there for a split second. Um, we're going to be just painting this all with pink. Now, the kitchen is technically blue, blue in most spots, but uh, again, walls and all that fun stuff. Now, yes, I really could do, like, I could probably come back in and fill in and just make the inside, but it's going to be very tiny. This would have to be moved over. And right now, I'm not uh, not interested in doing that. We'll see, maybe, again, maybe it'll be one of those little things I do off camera at some other point in time, just not not in this episode. It'll be like little, little tweaks we'll do when we go back and do work uh, at a later date. Or if I'm just bored and I want to go back and just kind of refinish it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> refinish it. Yeah, yeah, That's those are, these are words. These are all grammar. Mm -hmm. No, it's not grammar, Jeff. It's, it's, um, it's proper English. I'm sorry, the fire's kind of just gotten me upset now and a little, <laughs> little off kilter <laughs> threw me for a loop. Uh, I thought I disabled that. So anyways, we're just going to go back through and do all of this. And this is most of the first floor. I'm going to run back. Oh, mother of pearl. And then we can do you like so. Oh, 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 that's right. That's right. We need to fix this. So this is all pink in the hallway. So we're just going to fill in the gaps. Like that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then we're just going to put this on all the way up to the first floor. And actually, this is all going to be pink through there. Oh, boy. This hallway is dark. There we go. And, uh, yeah, you know what, we'll just, uh, we're just gonna, mm-hmm. Well, that's the kitchen. So we'll do you, like that, and let's put a door on. So that way, whenever we finish a room, ooh, let's put a, oh, we'll just put the oak door. It's gonna get all, like, exotic and be like a jungle door. But no. Leave that open. All right. I think I fixed it now. But I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> um, all right, so in here, you know what we're going to do? We are, no, let's, hmm. so we're using the blue clay. Let's use the, do we actually have a purple? Is there a purple clay? <gasps> Ugh, no, that's too purple. We'll go back to the blue. So, light blue wool, light blue wool, blue stained glass, light blue glass, you be doo doo do. Hmm. So you know how in your house your wallpaper like like just billows in the wind? Apparently the Simpsons house does that too. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yep, we're doing this. Okay, so what we're just gonna do is we're going to oh man, see just look how thick that is. I want half slabs. Half slabs, but make it horizontal. Is this gonna be a problem? Hmm. We don't need to do it all over. We just need to do it. Yep, let's just poke a hole in that wall, Jeff. Sure. Just need to do it on the walls where I can't put, I can't do this on. So really, because I don't want to, well, I guess I could live with making this room one block shallower. See, like how I was literally just talking about how I didn't want to do that, or this, and, yep, now I am. This is how it is. Sorry, this episode's really kind of uh, less energetic. I, I was, <laughs> that damn fire just screwed me up so bad. <laughs> Just totally got me off kilter. Okay, no, 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 no. We just need to get rid of you and then give me, give me you. <laughs> Not sure how I managed to delete that one. That was weird. And we'll just fill that in. Oh, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Fantastico. Give me you. See, a lot of this interior decorating stuff is the stuff that uh, this is kind of boring, and this is the stuff I don't like to normally do on camera because 
Well, I just said it. It's boring. It's it's a lot of the same stuff over and over again. I know the building can technically be the same stuff over and over again, but really this is just choosing colors and saying yes. That's the color I wish for this to be. Look how tiny this room is now. Oh man, they're going to have a very narrow dining room table. Oh crap. <laughs> crap. And so I'm gonna have to put that there so I can create that walkway in just so I can do this. Don't turn the sea lantern on this time. You know what would have really helped? If I didn't do this before the carpet. <laughs> that would have made life slightly simpler. Oh well. Oh actually though. Ha <laughs> ha! Sometimes I amaze myself. Most times, not so much, but sometimes. And I do need to... Eh, you know, that's still okay there. And I'll probably destroy a little bit of this when we go to build the fireplace. Because... I said so. All right, so that is the first floor of the house. Let me go ahead and take care of the second floor, and I'll be right back with you guys. And uh, we'll wrap up today's episode. Still not on fire. And I'm done. Okay, well, well, yeah, done. First floor, second floor, all finished. Got the carpets in and the walls in. I did, in fact, go in and uh, basically just indent everything along all the walls, coloring everything in. I put up a little uh, railing there so the kids don't fall off. This looks hideous, but it's because the carpet actually in the upstairs is like a dark maroon, and we don't have a dark maroon, so guess what? We have Christmas-colored uh, so anyways, all the rooms are slightly tinier than they would have been before. Um, this room I actually left is just the tile, or is kind of the, the outside wall. Otherwise it would have been super tiny. And uh, the, the doorways, because the doorways do not open and work on carpet, so what I had to do was I had to replace the, the rug directly below them with wool. Now, yes, I do realize that I really didn't need to do the wool, and I might go back and just ditch these all together, you know, and just put in the carpet or the wool since it's really not really not gaining anything there. Oh, well, well, I'll play that by ear. Anyways, uh, all, all the kids' rooms are finished. They're all just kind of basic, the, the same thing, because really the entire house is the exact same color scheme. This bathroom, oh, this poor bathroom, it suffered the most. It's so teeny tiny. I managed to make a little bit of extra space right here because this was the uh, the closet. There's there's supposed to be like a closet like right here, which I guess I could still make into a closet. Maybe we will just make this into a closet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, oh hello hello attic. We haven't been up here yet. To, uh, I'll figure out this one day. Um, but yeah, this I managed to push that room out a little bit just to get a little bit more space inside the bathroom. I'm just going to shut that door and pretend that this is a finished room. There you go, a closet. But yeah, this poor, this poor bathroom. It's so tiny. Enough space for like a a toilet and the toilet. <laughs> That's about it. So, you know, I started thinking about this off camera while I was finishing up the build. I am, at, I think I'm going to do all of the interior decorating. I'm going to do a little bit of interior decorating. In the past, we, like for the Ghostbusters ones and for, and for the Back to the Future build, uh, we didn't really do any kind of interior decorating inside the buildings. We purposely kind of left them as shells. I... <sighs> I might just do that for this build. I might leave it as is. Uh, at the same time, I might go back through and just put in the basic structures, very basic furniture and couches and, you know, the kitchen cabinets. I'm, I, I might do that. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it next time, and I will do it as a uh, as a time lapse in the beginning. I'm not gonna, I won't spend an entire episode dedicated to that. I would actually much rather spend the rest of the episode kind of just doing the outside uh, kind of landscaping stuff like that. I, I just, I don't know, for me, that's a little more fun than watching me try to figure out how to build a couch. <laughs> it just doesn't sound entertaining to me. So putting up, uh, maybe by trying to find like a good tree for the back there, putting up the fence around the uh, the Simpsons house, putting in a couple of the bushes, uh, the, uh, the brick, obviously the brick wall that's over here that's dividing the Simpsons house from the brown house, which is right here. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the brown house. 
uh, or the Fl- or Flanders House, or if we're just going to, you know, put up the, the dividing wall, and then if down the line I want to, I can. Maybe when we're fleshing this area out more, and I just need more structures, and I just don't know what else to build. But uh, yeah, so I think for for today we're calling it quits. Like I said, next time we'll wait and see uh, if it'll just be a time lapse for the uh, the inside furniture, and then uh, working on the landscaping, and then wrapping up this build. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's just come back here and take a gander at it. So far, you know, I'm uh, I'm really liking it. We get the we get the landscaping in, and it's gonna look it's gonna look marvelous. That's that's what I have to say. So uh, yeah, with that, I think uh, I think we're this hasn't caught fire yet. Oh, but I'm catching fire. Great.